stereo equipment I want to go in for a closer look. Absolute stunning day. Just stunning. Praying for some great, stunning dumpster diving, my friends. Absolutely gorgeous. Weather has been dialed in. I know people have like, you know, maybe this is just their hobby or whatnot, but sometimes I feel like I'm the only one out dumpster diving, which is good. I mean, there's no competition. There's just piles of good stuff. Uh, this, I do want to get on film real quick. Let me make sure no one's around. There's a really nice mattress and then this cool little like bookshelf, kind of a stepper type of a bookshelf where it kind of has this one uh, longer end. Great for books or for toys for kids. And that was actually there yesterday. Wasn't able to catch it on film yesterday, but I'm glad I got it today. All right, there was a maintenance guy walking around that spotted me and was kind of staring at me for some reason. Uh, let's hopefully not run into him again. He might just be walking the property. Eh, they probably don't care at all. He's probably looking at my sweet Matchbox car going, man, how is that guy dumpster diving? That car is too small. <laughs> if he only knew the kind of stuff that we could bring in this bad boy. All right, um, that's actually a really nice cooking walk and it looks like two coffee tables. I think we're going to try to go around the other side see if we can get some better footage of that first let's go to this set of cans over here first there was actually a guy going and throwing away a bunch of stuff so we might double back around again just kind of wooden coffee tables but yeah, i mean you never know what might be behind the half wall so we're gonna go over here to where i found the dog bed nothing there same stuff as yesterday again i'm gonna be sky high if i could find a retractable leash and two stainless steel dog bowls today would be awesome this doesn't happen all the time but sometimes you need to go straight to the golden dumpster that was the hottest one yesterday which is going to be the ikea no nice okay hold on uh we're probably going to have to come back to that parking spot i thought i saw a pair of rollerblades there was a medicine cabinet uh, i want to see if that was a nice one uh but let's go ahead and come on over here to the hot cans with the ikea lamps and uh looks like no one's around around for a live shot same stuff looks like yep yeah same stuff there so we're gonna go ahead and go around go back to the other set of cans actually there's one new piece it's this like iron rack thing but i won't worry about that let's go ahead and go on down here and see what's going on with that pair of rollerblades i thought I'm not trying to brag or anything, but just briefly throwing my head to the side, it's amazing after you've dumpster dived for so long to be able to spot things and know what things are sometimes, even without having to go in for a closer look. So yes, that was a, uh, okay, a couple little pieces here. Let me flip the camera around. We got uh, what looks to be some vases, some kids stuff, uh, some glassware. Uh, we'll skip out on that one. Is that like, yeah, for toys, Spider-Man thing? That's kind of cool, though. All right, this one has been hot. There's a woman actually throwing stuff away, and she's actually looking at that stuff, and uh, I think she's just chucking it in there pretty good. Oh, cutie. I think that was a little puppy over there. All right, we won't disturb her. The same stuff was there from yesterday anyway. All right, remember yesterday there was the guy throwing away the suitcase and I think toaster and some other things over here. But there was uh, the guy, he was uh, in the way and then also a dog walker was creeping on me. All right, and there's a bunch of kids. So negatory on that one. They were in their garage hanging out. There was actually a little baby all sorts of stuff. The toaster looked like it was still there with a the box spring, but I'm not gonna go in for a closer look. Don't wanna disturb the family. Throw up the antennas. Kind of a plain jean, gray color, small area carpet rug. We'll go ahead and skip out on that one. Looked like it was in decent condition though. I typically like the more longer frilly he is. Press on. All right, that's where the dog paddle piddle potty pads were. Uh, someone just pulled in there. If there's something, I gotta grab it fast. Coming up on this set real quick. Nothing there, hold on. I really like this plant. Uh, and there's a couple of chairs. Hold on a second.
Well, I like the plant. I'm not crazy in love with it, but I like it. It's modern and look good in some sort of corner, so it's a go. If I decide against it, that's gonna sell for five, 10 bucks at a garage sale, probably five bucks. The office chair, on the other hand, was beautiful condition, and that was probably 65, 75 all day on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. All right, there's somebody right here, but Ikea coffee table. Uh, the Chester drawers is still there. A little handheld steamer in the cans. Small little Ikea square table. All right, I already saw it from the other side. But a, let me roll my window down, a doll. And that was a big doll. And uh, now next to the little girl's thing that was here yesterday, there's some sort of white, uh, maybe that's a dollhouse bed i'm not really sure but we don't need that stuff and that big doll kind of creeps me out i'm gonna be honest with you <laughs> all right let me tell you a quick story so my grandparents back in the day they had what's called the the girls room upstairs in their big old home right and so this was out in arkansas in the sticks right out in the woods and growing up i was like oh man my you know grandparents have this big house and lots of acres and it was awesome don't get me wrong it was awesome but uh with that said they had what's called the girls room, which we also nicknamed the dolls room. Uh, and so there was these like porcelain dolls that my grandma collected and she had a bunch of them. What is that? Hold on a second. Some sort of big old humidifier or something or other. Anyway, doesn't look like something that uh, I want to deal with right now. Uh, anyway, so uh, what I did one time, <laughs> This was back in the day, right? So my cousin and I, she was younger than me at the time. Well, still is younger than me at the time. Uh, we watched a scary movie and type of movie where you don't really want to go back to kind of a uh, scary big house in the dark in the woods, right? Anyway, the movie had dolls in the movie and it was a real scary movie. And so what I did is when she went to bed, I was the last one to go to bed, and I put dolls facing her uh, doorway, or I, I think they actually slept with the uh, door open, um, my aunt and my cousin, uh, they were sharing the same room. And so what I was doing was I was actually, uh, I tilted the uh, dolls in a manner that were facing the bed. So if she woke up in the middle of the night on her side, she would actually see the dolls and you know totally get freaked out so she i think she spotted them and she's like not funny not funny so anyway that was a good prank with that said we look like we have some stereo equipment i want to go in for a closer look so hold on Well, that was vintage stereo equipment, that's for sure. We're gonna go ahead and let that be and sit right there. Don't need that. But if you did want an old school record player, there you go. There is a mother and son coming, but a whole couch set right here. Awesome. Nice little material as well. I've said it plenty of times, but for the new subscribers, Mr. Sleep Slot and I, we used to live together before we both got married, and we had what's called the Bachelor Pad. The Bachelor Pad was an amazing pad. Yeah, we had Bible studies, we had fun adventures, and we made funny YouTube videos. It was a hoop. We really had a blast. But to be honest with you, we wish that we both would have known about dumpster diving. If we would have known about dumpster diving, we would have made a killing. I would have been the one gone out and get it, gone, gone gotten out and got it. And then Mr. Sleep Slot would have been the one that sells it. He's the Craigslist guy. So what I'm trying to say is you college kids Get hip to the flip, not just college kids, everybody. Get hip to the flip. If you want some side hustle money, full-time money, get out there and dumpster dive, but you gotta resell it. You gotta resell it. You can't just stash it all away. It accumulates too much stuff. All right, if I'm not mistaken, I believe we have uh, spotted a four moms, the higher end model one, all the way down the pipe. Yep, that's a four moms. Well, that is awesome. <laughs> That's two for moms. Uh, that is the higher end model, the one that has the digital display. Um, and that's the one that goes side to side as well. I actually might 
stash one of those away for children goals because this one is again the high-end model unfortunately unless it's in there i didn't see it i kind of grabbed it quickly because that set of cans is at the front of the complex i think that's my fifth four moms that I have found and they break down for shipping so that's an absolute blessing if you do sell those I think they're like 130 160 I believe all day on eBay pre-owned because I think those are like 200 to 250 brand new don't quote me on that one for this particular model thank you Lord amazing blessing don't let the party stop guys hit one of these videos continue to watch and we'll see you soon